Boy, it's my favorite. <laughs> Look at this tail. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorites for the month. I have a lot. I have a little bit of a cold as well, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds extra seductive today. I'm going to start off with what's on my lips which is this little guy. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Skinny Dip. I adore this color so much. It's gotta be one of my favorite, more neutral tones. Do a swatch for you. Ugh, the formula of these are so wet. It's like paint, but then it dries so matte on your lip. Mm, I really like the formula. They are a little bit more dry than other liquid lipsticks that I've tried, but I, I love this color. It's kind of like the Stila Patina, don't you think? If you've been around for a long time, you know I was obsessed with Stila Patina. Another favorite is from a brand called Ofra, it's this. I use this in a fall tutorial. This is a highlighter in the shade Beverly Hills. This thing is so deadly, you guys. I want to put some on, just so you can see. You didn't check out that tutorial, but I already have a lot on. But like, I'm just gonna put more on. It's so, okay, I went a little crazy there. But it's so pretty, oh my god. Like maybe I can buff that in a little, but like maybe I wouldn't in real life. This thing is just so beautiful. I love that it has five different tones you get to mix together or you can use each one separately if you so desired as well. Mm, mm. For the last little while, my skin has been so bad. And I think I've talked about this in a previous video, but it's just, it's something for me to get used to because I'm not used to that. Like, and, and, and like, I don't, anyway, I did some research on YouTube and I went and got the Kate Somerville Eradicate. This is like a spot treatment. You throw on your little spots in the night before you're going to bed just with like a q-tip dab it on and then in the morning it's supposed to make them disappear reduce the inflammation of them this thing actually works for me and i've quite enjoyed it it almost looks like calamine lotion or like pepto bismol or something it's really potent dab it on and it really does suck it away i've tried a ton of spot treatments in my life um some from the drugstore, some from Sephora, but I think this one honestly takes the cake. And I even keep, I always put it back in its box for some reason. I, I don't know why. <sighs> anyway, so I'll keep using that and see if it completely clears up. Just... Makeup Forever launched their new Artist Rouge lipsticks and they sent me this cute little box of them. Let me show you. Ooh, isn't this cute? There's one color in here that I really, really like and I wanted to share it with you guys, but I thought, I'd show you the whole PR package here. It's this color right here, it's C506. It's this beautiful, like, it's perfect for fall. It's like a deep purpley color. And then it's like, I can't ever get these out. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's this lipstick that's on here, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, cute packaging. It's like metal, which I think is so cool. It looks so like hip, but like industrial. Anyway, this is the lipstick. I've definitely made a dent in it. Oh, it's so creamy. It's kind of like Rebel from MAC, but it's just a little bit deeper. And I just, like, when you build it up, it's so stunning. I have not put a tube of lipstick on my lips in the longest time. And the day when I wore it, I was I was so paranoid about it, but I didn't, it didn't move, really. It doesn't set down to a complete matte, but it does settle into a nice satin matte finish but it just, the pigmentation of it lasted all day. And that's really the reason why I don't wear two of the lipstick anymore because I just want my lip to be on there for good. And I really do like the formula of these and this color. Eh, I love it. I wish I had it on right now. Ooh, that would look good. I have a setting powder that's my favorite for this month as well. It's the Kat Von D Locket Loose Powder, I believe it's just called. It's just in the shade Translucent. You get so much product, first of all. And what I actually really like about this is I have super dry skin and throughout the day, my makeup doesn't always look like it did when I put it on right in the morning. If you're dry, you know exactly what I mean, where it's just like, what, <laughs> you know? This doesn't really do that to my skin. I feel like it keeps it 
pretty even and it doesn't really my skin doesn't settle into these dry patches everywhere do y'all like my makeup today i think i really like it oh my nose looks sharp i need to wear colors that make my eyes pop more i think mm. I've gotten back on to the plumping lip gloss kind of bandwagon. I don't wear it out ever, but I wear it around the house. Well, I wore I wore it out, but typically I wear you know liquid matte lipstick. It's just 2016. It's how it is. Lip injection glossy, so it's like a glossy lip color plumping lip gloss. This shade is Angel Kisses. I have such discoloration in my lips. If you guys have ever noticed, like in the beginning of my tutorials. My lips, I always bite them for no reason. I just, I don't know why. And it's like scar tissue, I suppose. And I don't really ever like just wearing a clear gloss because I feel like you can see that. I love the Lip Injection by Too Faced and I love the Lip Injection Extreme and I love their tinted lip injections now. This has a tone to it pretty much. I'll do a swatch on my hand. I like these because they still alter the color of my lips but I still receive all the benefits and the nourishment of the lip injection but hiding my ugly little scars on my lips i'm going to talk about what's on my eyes and it's pretty well this whole inglot palette boom this is one of their palettes of the freedom system and i couldn't tell you off the top of my head what all these shades are but i adore them all the ones i have on boom wait boom <laughs> one this one this one this one this one and this one so pretty well exactly half the palette that's what's happening here i never used inglot shadows before because i had no access to them in manitoba and i remember when i went down to vegas i was in the store for like probably like seven minutes and none of them said hello to me so i just like walked out but you've redeemed yourself inglot because this is gorgeous they're so pigmented like they're just oh oh Oh, okay, those are all the favorites I had to share with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Are you sleeping? Oh, boy, is my favorite. Oh.